Hey guys, this is FIFA Relic here and welcome to Fatal World 2, sort of the second stage of the tournament because first off we had all the group stages with the different regions playing against each other and now it's down to all the winners or first, second, third places facing each other but first we're building a team again, my Fatal players Aguero and here you have the rules sort of similar to last time around but the amount of coins you get are a little bit a little bit different. So I get 30,000 coins per goal I score if I went in a penalty shootout. And if I score with Aguero, I get 40,000 coins. And if, if I happen to trigger a rage quit, I will also get 40,000 coins. If I lose a penalty shootout or concede a goal, I will concede or lose uh, 30,000 coins. And at the end of each episode, as per usual, we'll upgrade two players into gold players. And the pricing of the players is such that we use the minimum price for the players Unless the player's minimum price is lower than his discard value, then I'll be using his um, then I'll be using his maximum price. And a new thing to the series is also that uh, coins can now carry over from one episode to another. So if I get a lot, a lot of coins in this episode, I can save them for the next episode, for example, uh, and then try and go for a good player. But I cannot carry them over to episode 3, for example. I'll need to use them either in the episode I get them or the episode after that. And then I get 100,000 extra coins because I ended number one uh, in the group stages. So I have a, a few more coins to go with here from the start of the series, which is pretty nice. Uh, so if we, can, if we can play well in this episode, we could have quite a few coins to work with. So of, of course... Aguero, my fatal player, Niang, and Asaidi on the wings in my team. Bit of trickery on them, and hopefully they can create something for me. And then we do have a Butter on the right center mid spot. Four star skills, not too bad there. And uh, some all right stats for Silva. Foul in there, struggling to Aguero and Isco. I was sort of thinking fouling could be upgraded into Di Maria, and that would be a nice link up to Aguero. Yun Suk Jung on the left back. Uh, mainly there for chemistry reasons and eventually we will upgrade him apart on the right back and then sort of an MLS core I'm, I'm thinking we might uh, change that around eventually to maybe some Bundesliga or I don't know Syria or something like that and Aguero on the top 21 goals in 12 games from here sort of tested him out and he seemed to perform very well for me now we're playing in the false nine but I think um, like going forward it is the 4-3-3 with the center attacking mid the fourth variation that I will probably be aiming for because that's the formation I'm most comfortable with but uh, this was sort of the formation that worked out chemistry wise for me but uh, going into my first match I faced uh, a pretty strong team he had team of the season Sanchez for triple two formation I generally do not like playing against that because it can stand pretty deep and be, be tough to break down and then just a full gold squad overall definitely Definitely a, a somewhat better squad than mine. But I'll find Aguero here in the in the second, third minute. Player 1-2 with ACD break on through. And we would go with a cheeky little chip over the keeper. And we would make a 1-0. To get 40,000 coins, our first goal with our fatal player. And uh, my opponent also tested out a shot. But uh, luckily it was over the goal. I got a little bit nervous when I saw that flying. Because having a silver keeper, well, they don't they do not always perform as you want them to. But luckily he didn't score. And instead went into the second half and Botta will get a goal there. Aguero with the assist to make it 2-0. Unfortunately, Diaby will get on the ball again for my opponent. Nice little cut in behind and it deflects off my defender and bounces over my keeper and I lose 30,000 coins and then he shushes me uh, with that celebration. So, um, yeah, I was not too happy about conceding that goal uh, because at this point in time, I would only get 40,000 coins from the match. But break on through with Aguero. But no goal, unfortunately. We get a corner, and Aguero tries out a bicycle kick, but could not find the back of the net. And it's their 57th minute. It's Butter on the ball. He plays it on through to Aguero, and he'll take that walk around or run around the keeper for an easy tap in to make it a 3 1. And uh, I will, of course, be using skill moves, but at the same time, it's about being as effective as possible in this series, I feel, so I can get the best possible player. So I'll probably try and force the player a little bit on to Aguero and be efficient with him just to try and get the goals and here we do find Aguero trying to get into the box and my opponent is not able to clear it away we turn around I go in for the shot and I pick up a penalty and of course Aguero will step up for that score his hat trick give us yet another 40,000 coins and Botta here on the ball playing it on to Aguero for his fourth goal in the match and then in the 81st minute I missed a tackle on Sanchez and he was just too fast I couldn't get him off it and I'm a little bit disappointed in Bessler there 40 should have done a little bit better 
but uh, he would score to see me lose 30,000 coins there towards the end of the game. But still, a pretty good game overall. We got 130,000 coins, and combined with the with the group stage bonus, we do have 230,000 coins in total, and we still have to play our second game. So it's looking it's looking pretty good uh, as long as we do not lose our next game. So uh, yeah, for for my second match uh, of this very first episode of Fatal, I was going to be matched up again. Yet another sort of almost full goal team. He did actually have a hero bronze goalkeeper, which I found a little bit odd, and then a record break of Crouch on the top, and then he had Charlie Adam in as a silver. But apart from that, uh, a pretty pretty solid BPL gold squad that I was, and. Um, yeah, okay, the game started with Aquaria breaking on through. I was just testing out his keeper from a weird angle, but he did easily save that, and he actually proved to perform pretty well in the start of the game, his keeper. He is saving my shot. I thought I would have scored as ED there, but I couldn't uh, couldn't quite get a proper shot in. Yang breaking on through here as well, and the keeper saved it, saved it again. So I just couldn't score in this match, but then in the 39th minute, who else than the main man, Aguero? He panners the goalkeeper there with the shot to bring us up 1 0. We find S80 here, we chip it over the keeper, but he was offside, and I think the keeper would have saved it if the flag had not gone up. But uh, we'll still get a second goal in the match. Aguero would yet another goal for himself, so that is six goals in two games. He's scoring a lot of goals for us, and Botta trying out a shot, but it hits. It hits, hits the post, but we pick up a corner, and it's Asadi on the ball. He beats two players here. He takes the shot, and now look at this. It bounces off Aguero for a hat trick. Kind of lucky, but he gives us 40,000 coins there. Aguero with yet another goal for us, and then he will break on through in the 76th minute. Brahim here with a lovely little chop in behind my defender, but a good save from my keeper, and we would remain uh, with that three-goal lead. And then Aguero, he sort of touches it to Potter. We get another goal. We make it a 4-0. And then Botta, he gets it again from Aguero, and he scores again to make it a 5-0. And then uh, Botta was going to hand it back to Aguero here, break on through into the box, pass it to him. And I tried for a fancy shot there, but I couldn't pull it off. But Aguero will still get his fourth goal in the match, and that was how the game ended. So eight goals from Aguero in our two first games, and that means from the second game, we got 220,000 coins. So in total... We have 450,000 coins to upgrade our team. Now, I was talking a little bit about I wanted to change the formation sort of for the future. And right now, it's mainly as it is for chemistry reasons. And it doesn't necessarily will change it uh, for the next episode. But this is sort of ideally what I want. Two skillers on the wings. And then have a very good center attacking mid, which, which can create stuff going forward. And I'm thinking Di Maria is the player to get in on that center attacking mid. Um, and we got a lot of coins from this match. Match. And uh, we could get the record Di Maria, but Team of the Year Di Maria is 680,000 coins. And as we can carry coins over to the next episode, I was thinking of saving the coins in this episode, give you some cheap options for upgrades, and then in the next episode, try and push for that Team of the Year Di Maria. So what I'm thinking is uh, we'll try and get um, get some players on the right-hand side of the pitch for this episode, get a 5-star skill in instead of Nyang, uh, and then have, still have Asaidi in with the skills on the left wing. So the first option I was thinking was to get Quadrado, which we used uh, last time around, because he f he's, for me, the best right wing. He got the 5-star skills. He's pretty fast. So... Quadrado from Fiorentina alongside with Congo from Lazio, that is my first option to you. And the other option is also going to consist of Quadrado bought from Chelsea and then use Ramirez as well in on that right center mid spot. So what it means is if we go with Chelsea Quadrado, you will get a link with uh, Aguero and then uh, once we get a player like Di Maria, we can play whoever we want on the left wing. And I was thinking maybe we could use a player like uh, Neymar, maybe the team of the season, if that's cheap enough. Or if we go with the Fiorentina version, uh, we will need a left wing which links with Aguero once we change into the 4-3-3 attack formation. And then it will probably be Bolasi. But anyways, this is going to be uh, the two choices. Either you can go with Quadrado and Ramirez or with Conco and Quadrado. So that is pretty much it. There's two comments down below where you can thumb up which one you think is the best. And apart from that, that is going to be the end of the episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And that's all. I'll talk to you later.